Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're lucky enough to have Jane Gao as our guest to talk about her own experience with her college application and how she gets into Tsinghua and more. So hopefully this video can help you if you're a future applicant. And don't forget to like it up, comment down below, and subscribe if you like my video. I'm Jane. Um, I come from America, I'm Champaign-Urbana in Illinois, and I came to Shanghai when I was 11 years old. Yeah, um, at first I was not so sure I wanted to stay in China either. And to be honest, I wanted to go to America. In international school, I, I probably still have more Chinese background than ABCs from America. And so going to Tsinghua will be a, a different kind of learning experience for me, learning the different cultures within China. I've actually been on and off homeschooled for between each year in school, like in school one year and then homeschool a year and then in school. I know that in China, homeschooling is not such a popular norm. It is in America, and especially for my family, we wanted to be homeschooled. I was originally worried that I wouldn't be able to catch up, and when I did come back, it was a sort of a jump, mm -hmm. um, but I realized that even though I hadn't progressed as much as I thought throughout those two years, it was not as difficult to catch up with the material. I think what's really important about learning, even if it's things that you're not familiar with, is being very active in learning. Homeschooling is a lot about maturing on your own, but there are times when you can learn more about yourself and I'm able to think and see things a little bit differently from my peers. I took uh, AP Capstone, which is a two-year program with AP Seminar and AP Research. So for the research year, which I'm taking this year, I'm studying a year-long project. I'm turning it into a study, gathering my own data and collecting them and analyzing them. Mm -hmm. But when I went there, I was definitely more aware of what college would be like. It shows you what it's like to conduct research at a college level. Um, right now, short-term success, at least in school, would, would be getting good grades or good SAT scores and what college you get into, and this is rather short-term. So if you value these things as a definition of success and that's what you put your self-worth on, mm -hmm. it's very easy to fall into peer pressure. Looking back now, I didn't really stress over a lot of stuff. I don't regret it pretty much at all because stressing over these small things, they wouldn't amount too much. When you do look back on your high school years, but I feel like a really big dilemma for our seniors is that they're really nostalgic, maybe too nostalgic about their high school years and they can't seem to let go. It's to appreciate the high school years but knowing that because your future is going to be great. I think it's partially because seniors and upperclassmen always talk about how much work they have, how much stress they have. People think it's easy to feel like things that you haven't done are too hard and then when you do do it, like do get to that stage in life, it'll be like as hard. What what I kind of picked up from these four years for a project, um, it's easy to feel like it's too big of a project. For example, planning prom or doing really big events, you think it's a really big enterprise that may seem impossible at first, but that's because you're looking at the end goal. You're looking up at the top of a tree and, and you strain, you're straining your neck because it seems so tall. But if you break down this project into smaller pieces, like branch by branch, you realize that the, the way up isn't as hard as it seems. Like every small task is actually very simple. There's a lot less to it. It's about like taking it step by step and not rushing yourself. 